Hi, I'm Todd. And I'm Estana Victoria. And welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making for you a really yummy grapefruit chicken. I know, right? It sounds so weird, but it is so delicious. I know, it's packed full of flavor because mm -hmm. you had all these yummy spices in there. You have some curry, you have some cumin. It's really, really good. And you know how we love to mix citrus and meat. So we do, and we love things that are packed full of flavor yes. and also really easy and quick to make. Yeah. So, let's show you how we do it. All right, let's do it. So, we started by cutting the chicken breast into cubes, and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sprinkling in some turmeric and we're just gonna be dusting that. So, we're gonna do a little bit, and then I'm just gonna mix this almost like how you would flour meat. Instead, we're gonna be tossing it with turmeric, just lightly coat the exterior. That I'll get a little more just so that's nicely coated. It really flavors the chicken here. So let's continue to toss this and then we'll get started on making the grapefruit chicken. So now we're gonna start by just adding some olive oil to our skillet. And we're gonna be searing the chicken in the olive oil. We're gonna do so in batches. Once we get this nice and warm, we're gonna take our chicken that has the turmeric on it and we're just gonna place the pieces right in here. Hear that beautiful sizzle. The turmeric smells so good too. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's good for you too. Good for those joints. I know I take it every morning. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I feel really good on days where I take the turmeric and then I eat this chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so we're just gonna get enough in there to coat the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna sear and then flip it over. So now that we've seared all the sides, you get that nice crisp on there. We're going to take these pieces out and we're going to repeat with the other pieces of chicken. That nice crisp. So this will not be fully cooked. We're going to be finishing it in the sauce. We're just searing it to seal in all the juices there. Okay. That beautiful sear on there. I love the color the turmeric gives it too. I don't like it. it smells so good. Now, if you notice, your second batch will sear faster just because your pan's really hot at that point. So keep an eye on your second, third, and fourth batch. So we just took the chicken out of the pan. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the onion directly and it will also deglaze and loosen up all those yummy bits at the bottom. And with this, I did a larger size top on the onion because I like pieces of it because it's just gonna get all caramelized with this while we add the sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna toss this for just a second, let that start to sweat, and then I'm gonna add the zest from the grapefruit. I love how this is giving this the color from the turmeric. Isn't that pretty? I know, it's awesome. All right, so now I'm going to add the garlic. Right there. Let this saute. And then we we'll start adding the zest. We have these gorgeous grapefruits. Oh my word, they smell so good. So we're going to be zesting them in there. Can you smell the zest? It just I, smells I so smell good. That was that from me. Oh. There's no from me. There's no zest from me. It's too right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm looking at the yellow and I'm like, oh, it's not from me. Oh, they do look so good. So we're just going to be adding this zest. I find it really important because it adds so much flavor to it. And then we will add the juice. So while I'm zesting, after I do this, Dad will start juicing them for us. I really wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Yet another reason I need to invent smell -o vision My word, it just is so amazing. The aromas. And the turmeric. And the grapefruit. 
Just wait till they add the curry. Yum! Alright, so you can see how the onions are starting to get translucent and they cook down beautifully. Now we're going to start adding the juice from our grapefruit. And we have the ruby red grapefruits here. Beautiful. Yum. So now that we've incorporated that, we're going to add our dry ingredients. We have some cumin, we have curry powder, believe it or not, more turmeric, some chili flakes, and a little bit of sriracha. We're just going to incorporate that. We're going to let this simmer for just a few minutes. So now that this has come to a boil, we're going to now add the chicken back in to the liquid or to the sauce, and we'll let this all cook together. Okay. Put that chicken right in there. Gorgeous. That color. Yum. All right, now we're just going to toss this in and we're going to let this finish cooking in the sauce. Oh, that smells so good. And this pairs beautifully with like a basmati rice, anything like that, or if you prefer to make a couscous, you could, but I love this just over like a basmati rice. It's so good. All right, so I'm gonna let this finish cooking and we'll show you the progress. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna be adding a little bit of a roux. So we just took some flour and water and mixed that together. Now we're gonna incorporate that right in. And while you're stirring it in, you wanna keep this moving at all times because otherwise you'll get lumps. And there's nothing worse than a flour lump in your gravy or in your sauce here. Just keep that moving. And now that that's in there, we're just going to incorporate that. And then we're going to let this cook for about 20 minutes or so, and you'll see how beautiful it looks. Stay tuned. Well, everyone, the dish is finally finished, and I wish you could smell how great this smells. It smells so good. <laughs> you know, I think we need to try it right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My trusty little Let's spoon. See. Oh, it smells so good, but I'm seeing a lot of steam coming off, so be careful. I don't want you to burn your little mouth. <laughs> and that'll talk like this. Yeah, we don't want that. Let me see. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you have the sweet and the tangy from the grapefruit. Then the curry goes really well with the, oh, with the cumin and, oh, the turmeric. It's really, really good. It's delicious. Mm, yum. Mm. What do you think? I'm going to have seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently he really liked it then. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you'd recommend trying this? I highly recommend it. All right. So I guess we'll give him the recipe then, huh? All right. We'll be nice. All right. So what I'll do is I'll put the recipe for you down below and I'll also show you how to get to the recipe. And below that, you'll also notice a link to our Patreon sponsorship. We just want to say thank you in advance for that as well. Yes, thank you very much. And we're going to, I think, continue to enjoy this or maybe he will alone. <laughs> and we'll say ciao for now. Ciao, ciao. 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 For our recipe, simply click the arrow that I have circled in red here. It'll bring you to a drop-down list, which you can see right here, which brings you directly to our recipe. You'll also notice a link to our Patreon sponsorship as well. Here's a few new pictures of Etna. She has a new crater and she's been spewing like crazy. Lots of fun to clean up. So we'll say ciao for now from Etna. Ciao, ciao!